11 days before Osama bin Laden was killed in his Abbottabad hideout, Pakistani doctor Shaquille Afridi visited the bin Laden compound. Afridi was secretly working for the CIA, reportedly running a phony vaccination program aimed at collecting DNA proof that could verify bin Laden's presence. Shortly after the Navy SEALs raid, Afridi was arrested and charged with treason. Now U.S. officials are calling for his release. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, who as CIA director oversaw the bin Laden raid, recently spoke with 60 Minutes. I'm very concerned about, uh, about uh, what the Pakistanis did with this individual. This was an individual who, uh, in fact, uh, helped provide intelligence uh, on uh, uh, that was very helpful with regards to this operation. Pakistani officials say Afridi's vaccination ruse, carried out without their permission, helped the U.S. confirm the location of the world's most wanted terrorist. This nurse who worked with Afridi told CBS News no one answered the day they knocked on the door of the bin Laden compound. And U.S. officials won't confirm Pakistani claims that Afridi eventually secured DNA samples from bin Laden's relatives. But a senior U.S. official told us today, Afridi helped save Pakistani and American lives. His activities were not treasonous, they were heroic and patriotic. The Obama administration insists Afridi was never asked to spy on Pakistan. He was only asked to locate al-Qaeda terrorists, something Panetta said was clearly in Pakistan's interest. And for them to take this kind of action against somebody who was helping to go after terrorism, I just think is a real mistake on their part. There is no sign to this point that the Pakistanis are even thinking about releasing Afridi, and that's frankly putting a further strain on already bad U.S.-Pakistan relations. Fact is, Scott, neither government trusts the other. Bob, thanks very much.